Your past mistakes do not earn God's call, plan, or purpose for your life. Your life is in a mess. You have disobeyed God and not lived by His commands. You have made decisions that have thrown your life into chaos. And do you think these mistakes will earn God's call on your life? what? Be happy because your mistakes cannot stop God's plan for your life. In fact, the hurt, rejection, pain, and guilt you feel for your past mistakes all fit into his plan for you. In Romans chapter 8 verse 28, it says, We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. We have been called according to his purpose. What you should know is that none of those failures and mistakes have changed God's plan and purpose for your life. The calling God gave you at birth, the plan he made concerning you even before you were formed, were reaffirmed when he saved you by giving his life for you on the cross. His plan for you is forever and remains permanent. There are many great men in the Bible who had not so pleasant past lives, but God found them worthy to use them for his glory. Paul, who was earlier called Saul before his conversion, is one such person. He was known to be someone who persecuted the followers of Jesus. He could evade people's homes, drag them out into the street, and throw them into jail just because they followed Jesus. But when Paul became a believer, he expressed in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12 to 13, that I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has given me strength, that he considered me trustworthy, appointing me to his service, even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man. Was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. God loves you as much, and so nothing can change His plan and purpose for your life. All you have to do is to repent of your sins and make Him the center of your life. Trust. mistakes and failures do not change your plan for my life. I repent of all my sins and all unrighteousness. Wash me and make me as white as snow. I surrender all my pains, hurts, guilt, and shame to you. Use them for your glory. Thank you for the joy and peace this has brought me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.